Good afternoon, everyone. This is the Mini Ice Age Rundown, May 2017. Oroville Dam Spillway reopened to try to empty water out so they can complete some repairs at least before the next rain season starts. They're trying to drop the dam down. It reached 850 feet again due to the melt runoff. Great images here from Blanco Rio on his site. But I'm telling you, this is going to delay the efforts by the California Department of Water to actually repair anything. What we've seen is record floods to full dams, record droughts in the deserts to record wildflower blooms in just a single year. This can all be explained by the shift of the inner tropical convergence zone during the onset of many ice ages. This is a well-studied science, and it doesn't matter if you're in the northern hemisphere or the southern hemisphere. It absolutely affects precipitation patterns. Indonesia, Australia is a nice example here. The galactic cosmic rays are going to increase 19% over this next solar cycle, meaning more rains. And we're starting to see absolute off the charts California snow water equivalent through the Sierra Nevada mountains. So much that's going to be skiing all summer long. They've gone from record drought water rationing to full dams in a single six month period. Looking back in history, you'll see a direct correlation of the Sacramento River increasing its flow with the onset of many ice ages. Now we need to ask the question, can we predict the many ice age onset? The answer is yes, it's beginning right now. As we progress through solar cycle 25 and 6, we're going to enter back into something, I believe, into a 1500 or 2000 year cooling period, something around 578 or 79 AD. Long story short, these arc storms and atmospheric compression events are going to be arriving early. There's some very strange atmospheric patterns locking in place systems currently. So Zarkova, Zarkov, and Shepard's work with the canceling waves on the sun that onset these grand solar minimums, I simply divided it out. The wider this wave gets, the more unsettled and more unstable our weather becomes. And all the instability and crazy weather patterns you've seen since 2015 is just those first two marks. That yellow asterisk is this year when it's going to start to come apart right in the middle of the summer. And wow, California Department of Water Resources... You are not going to have the time you think you do to repair this spillway. The wet season is going to arrive early and you're going to have dumps of rain in there in the middle of the summer that are unexpected. Welcome to the new grand solar minimum. And for the rest of you not in California, that shift from 2018 to 19 is where our world's weather literally comes unwound. These will be the first global crop losses. Your timeline for the instability and the reset button for society is Scientists just found a crack in one of Greenland's largest glaciers. The Peterman Ice Shelf, you would expect it to crack anyway because it's under duress as it pushes forward. So these enormous icebergs that are floating up across the coast of Newfoundland are blamed on this global warming. Amazing aerial shots. This year, 684 icebergs. When we go back to the record, 953 in what, 1984? There wasn't that much global warming then. Oh wait, Titanic. Oh wait, 1972? Yeah, it was really cold then, no global warming. More icebergs though. That seems to follow the Atlantic multidecadal oscillation on its cooling and warming phase over 60 years. I'm gonna warn you right now, grab your puppies and kittens and head to your safe spaces. Orange circles, oh, we're mimicking a pattern. Also, 1000 AD, warmer than today, but let's go back to 79 AD. Where did I see that before? Summertime sea surface temperatures around Iceland and Greenland warmer a thousand years ago than today. Oh wait, wintertime as well. Greenland's gaining ice on the sheet. A nice explanation for the iceberg sightings is Robert Scribbler did a great job showing you these Arctic vortices spinning, cracking the sea ice because of massive waves and cyclonic winds. The water currents and now the air currents have turned opposite. So you just have this bicycle chain pushing all these chunks of ice. There's something else going on. It's not global warming. It's a repeating cycle. Let's delve further into it. Trapped in thick Arctic ice, Canadian fishermen demanding payments because they can't go out and they're crabbing grounds. Too much ice. A quick look around Twilling Gate. Massive icebergs rolling up there as well on their shores. Flipping to Antarctic, 
The Gales have created dragon skin ice. And a new article out in The Guardian, Earth's oceans are warming 13% faster than thought and accelerating. But a look at North Atlantic temperatures, South Atlantic, the upwelling they're talking about from 700 meters. Oh wait, that's cool water rising to the surface. I wanted to run down a list of crop losses that you probably didn't see in the media over the last couple of months. One of the latest harvests in Alberta, Canada that the farmers can remember. They're still trying to seed after a wet spring and then they're harvesting crops that were buried in snow. Canadian wheat and canola stocks smaller than thought. You got these potato chip crisis in Japan, $12 bags of potato chips. Lettuce shortages coming out of the U.S. World barley crops, 34-year low. And then cotton all-time futures high, just like the cattle a couple of weeks ago. Government doing its best to overreach and step so far out of bounds. Sherman County, Oregon, is going to be forcing Azure Farms, the 2,000-acre organic farm, to start spraying herbicides around to control some weeds. The Canada Thistle, Morning Glory, and White Top. Oh, you mean the same Morning Glory that's edible? Here's a rundown on how you can prepare it yourself. Organic farm under threat. And if the government can come in and make an organic farm, start spraying herbicides around because the other farmers around are unhappy. Now we got the government's plan to seize control of your economy and your life, all forms of energy, all commodities, and anything that can be ingested by a human being. People need to stand up against this overreach of government right here. This is a standoff again, and it well should be. We're not talking about gold or minerals we're talking about our food supply here this is government overtaking food supply this is the litmus test to see how much you'll stand for when they take away your food supply that's all it's about it's not about controlling the weeds it's about your reaction when they come to take your food supply accuweather back at it again lack of heat instead of using the words cool cooler than average Especially over Northern Europe, that's fine. But here's exactly what lack of heat means. Record cold temperatures or close to it. In 2015, they actually used the word cool. Why in 2017 do they use lack of heat? Unless they're trying to disguise the grand solar minimum cooling, lack of heat, which means cooler conditions. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. You can support my work on Patreon if you like what I do. And please remember to subscribe to Adapt 2030.